2024, folks. We made it. It's a new year, new life, new drive and energy, brushing off the remnants of a 2023. You know, life is a new, almost phoenix-ish, right? You know, I got this feeling this is going to be the year. Let's go of all the bullshit. We are going to get over that hump of divisions and turmoil, angst and discomfort with one another. And we are going to get to that better world that we all want to live in. Now, there's a groundbreaking new study which has found a strong link between racism and chronic poor health conditions for black and brown communities in America. Oh, maybe not. I mean, if they made a study about it, right? Nobody funks around with no studies, right? That's a certifiable, you know, peer-reviewed world, right? They don't fuck with that, right? There's no games played with any studies, right? A team of researchers conducted the first of its kind study in Durham County, North Carolina. And what it found was a correlation between markers of structural racism, such as income, education levels, and locations of housing, and a higher prevalence of illnesses like chronic kidney disease, diabetes, and hypertension in the community. <laughs> a first of its kind, of course it is. These motherfuckers have got no bounds in which they'll fucking create a study out of fucking thin air just to keep the masses fucking hating one another, right? Good God, fucking, you hear all that structural racism. Man. And what it found was a correlation between markers of structural racism, such as income, education levels, and locations of housing. Educational backgrounds and this and that somehow links to fucking poor health. <sighs> Fuck me, MSNBC. In simpler terms, factors like high unemployment and subpar educational levels actually play a role in health outcomes. Historically, black and brown individuals already suffer from disproportionately higher rates of these conditions compared to other ethnic groups. Good fucking God almighty. Yo, you just imagine the people who watch this shit. The people who just have MSNBC on their TV all day long, walk around the house just getting pumped all day long with this, the ugliest of ugly fucking shit. The goal of the research is to eventually develop interventions that can enhance community health. Uh, hold on, hold on. The goal of the research is to eventually develop interventions that can enhance community health. What? What the, f hold on, Jesus fucking Christ, that was a mouthful of fucking garbage, wasn't it? What was the goal of this fucking thing one more time? The goal of the research is to eventually develop interventions that can enhance community health. Develop interventions that can enhance community health. I can't even imagine like the fucking think groups they get behind this shit that words it in all the way that they word all this shit. Doctors, there are hospitals, there are universities, there are systems in place that will create, back all this stuff, validate it, promote it, push it, but somehow these motherfuckers are making just the god-awful dumbest, most useless fucking studies on the planet that'll just create more division, that'll just create more fucking funding for these groups of activists and these clowns They got nothing better to do but just destroy, destroy, destroy. This shit ain't gonna have no idea, so like, hey guys, let's drink less soda and less fast food and less candy, sugar, salts, all this. It, it, it won't be none of that. It'll be, hey, it's not your fault for why you are the way you are. For more on this, I'm joined by Dr. Ebony Bolware, the senior author of that study, which was published this week in the Journal of American Medical Associations. In the Journal of American Medical Associations. In the Journal of American Medical Associations. These will be the same journals that all these motherfucking activists use and talk about how puberty blockers are reversible and how boys can be girls and vice versa. It's the same journals. It's the same shit that all these people come out so vindicated and affirmed that everything that they're saying and using has been studied and thought about and looked at and researched. It's been none of that. It's all ideologues. They're fucking the lot of them. The lot of these motherfuckers have just been indoctrinated in ways that Stalin would be speechless, 
to, to see how well this has actually been done, how well this ideology has just seeped into every nook and cranny of every little bit of our lives that Stalin would. Good fucking job. Good fucking job, America. And also with us is Dr. Uche Blackstock. Uche Blackstock. <laughs> Uche, the first time I heard that, I was like, Uche Blackstock. She made that name up. Founder and CEO of, of, of Advancing Health Equity. Advancing Health Equity. Dr. Blackstock also has a book coming out next month called Legacy, A Black Physician Reckons with Racism in Medicine. Thank you both for being here. Dr. Bolwer, uh, this is a super important study. study. Yo, is this dude just not funny looking? Is this dude not almost like comically funny looking? I'm just looking at this guy, I'm like, bro, like somebody, somebody clothed this dude. Like somebody put him in this whole outfit and glasses, trimmed his beard up real nice. Like that's it, that's it, bro. That's it, that's the look, that's the look. I have long since said that uh, racism in many respects is a public health crisis. And now we have the data to actually support that. There it is, now we have the data to support it. Now we have the data to support it. These motherfuckers, it's just a fucking, it's a world amongst themselves that just creates all this literature, all this medically studied, researched bullshit. That's how these motherfuckers, bro, this shit is like, you just wonder where all this ultimately goes with this stuff. With just division. Division in a way that is just masterful. It's fucking masterful to the depths of which these motherfuckers can do all this shit. That we're in the place that we're at in history. And these people can live these lives. I'm telling you, make a half a million dollars a year. Live the life of luxury, probably most of their fucking lives, in a country that gave them it. And everything they do is in works to destroy it all. Fucking studies that now prove it. Oh, fuck me, man. Uh, what was the impetus that led you and other researchers to tackle this topic? And why did you choose Durham, North Carolina as your testing ground? Well, Charles, thank you so much for having me. And before I get started to answer your questions, I just want to give a quick shout out to my collaborators, Dr. Danushika Mahatage at the Institute for Health Equity Research at Mount Sinai. Institute of Health Equity and Research. Fucking, you could cut that whole goddamn wing of wherever the fuck they're out at and the world will be a better place without it. Doctors Tina T Davenport and Nupin Bavzar at Duke University and many others at Duke, as well as at NC State University, Northwell Health, and Wake Forest University School of Medicine. Duke, NC State, Wake Forest. Yo, these are like some of the biggest universities in the country. Nothing good will come out of this study. Like nothing good. It'll just be used as a cudgel in the future where people can beat motherfuckers in the head with it. Like it's racist. The whole world's racist. The whole world's against me. Ain't you see that study where it's because of structural fucking racism or why people are having more diseases than other people? Fuck me, bro. It's fucking wild. We did seek out to understand the relationship between structural racism and health because we know that ethnic and racial minorities have, have much worse health than others in the United States. I mean, what else could a reason be for somebody having poor health? Personal responsibility? No. Their own decisions? No. Racism, that's what it is. It's fucking structural, <laughs> fucking racism. Ding, 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 ding. Jesus fucking Christ. Including higher rates of chronic conditions, acute conditions, and earlier death rates. So what we did was study over 260,000 North Carolinians uh, who lived in 150 neighborhoods in Durham County, North Carolina. And what we did was measure structural racism in their neighborhoods. Measure structural racism. I like to see the tape measure they use for that. Measure structural fucking racism. Let's hear it. And measure their health. And we define structural racism as factors which work together to create discriminatory conditions in neighborhoods that disadvantage ethnic and racial minorities.
that's it. This is it. This is how the world dies. This is how the entire fucking world goes from bad to worse to just the pits of fucking hell. You get people who are educated, educated, so far up their own fucking asshole, and just anybody fucking, God forbid, questions what they're doing or what they're saying. They're just called racist. It's the best fucking, like, setup in the world where you, know, you can't argue it, you can't make an argument against it unless you're fucking racist. What are you, racist? Only a racist would not want us doing this research, right? Because all we're trying to do is promote equity and help people better their lives. They ain't going to tell you how they'll actually accomplish it or what they're going to do to accomplish it. But God forbid these motherfuckers are measuring structural fucking racism. We looked at 16 factors, which included the neighborhood racial composition, education and employment rates in a community, income and poverty rates in the community, criminal justice, housing, voter participation, and even the amount of green space and tree cover in the neighborhood. <laughs> even the amount of green space. Bro, these are what they're using to determine structural fucking racism in the fact that people are in poorer health over other people. Like you just, like I'm just, bro, it fucking blows my mind. Like it actually legitimately drives me fucking bananas to see that these people can create these lives for themselves in this world that helped them do it. And this is what they spend their time doing research on. They don't do research on how to try to cure cancer, cure AIDS, cure any other number of other fucking diseases that people fucking die to year to year. They don't waste their fucking time doing that type of medical research. They do medical research trying to figure out why people are the way they are in hopes that they can connect it to fucking racism. Fucking you motherfuckers are, you motherfuckers are crazy. And what we found in short was that if there was more structural racism in a neighborhood, the health of the neighborhood was worse. I don't know how these motherfuckers take themselves this goddamn serious. And then to have this news segment with these motherfuckers just like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, let's, let's just get everybody hate each other even more. You just imagine the world 50, 60 years ago when motherfuckers was blatantly racist, in your face fucking racist. It wasn't no ifs, ands, or buts if a motherfucker was racist. To where the world has gotten so good that these motherfuckers just can't let it go. They can't let it go. If they let it go, they couldn't live the lives they live. They'd have to go get a real fucking job. They'd have to go do something productive in the world versus being productive on the vision. So if you had higher structural racism, you and your neighbors were more likely to have higher rates of kidney disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. These are three major conditions that we're fighting against the United States and major conditions that we know that ethnic and racial minorities suffer worse from, worse outcomes from. Okay. I mean, what do you want to do about it? What do you want to do about it? Let's just, let's just for the sake of an argument, grant you your sucker ass premise. What is it that you would like to do about it? Educate everybody about it? Is that it? Oh man, we just need people to know. We need people to know this. Cause it'll do what? It won't do nothing fucking positive. It ain't gonna cure your fucking kidney diseases and all the other things that you talk about people are fucking dealing with. Fuck me, bro. It's just the ugliest. It's the most blatantly ugly, backward, bullshit, sucker shit. You could ever fucking imagine. And these motherfuckers, bro, this shit will be 10 times worse than anything that'll ever be on Fox News or Newsmax, any of the right wing, any of the right wing fucking networks. They won't talk and say the type of shit at a tenth of what these people will get on MSNBC and spew all day long. I mean, the most ugly, racist, bullshit, sucker shit that serves zero benefit to the world around them. Every fucking year we can get somewhere new, start something fresh. You'll drag us fucking back into some shit that can't nobody do nothing about. Bro, that's on y'all. That's on everybody. That's on every single person. It ain't even a y'all in a sense of black folks. It's in, it's in a sense of everybody. That's on everybody to try and make the world around them a better place. 
It's your responsibility. It's my responsibility. It's all of our fucking responsibilities. Nobody can fucking give away their personal responsibility in making the world a better place around them. Bro, it's fucking insane. It's just fucking bananas when you just try to imagine what the fuck would you even have done this study for? What would the purpose be? Because it ultimately just comes down to we need to educate the public about it. We need to tell the public about it. Don't matter how much bullshit was used in creating the whole fucking thing. But that's enough. That's enough to get you a segment on MSNBC and just help fucking keep dividing every fucking body. Durham, North Carolina has a huge range of living conditions, all the way from severe poverty to um, extreme wealth. And so provided an opportunity for us to look at this for the first time and then to take several different types of data that were available and from the, from the community, public records on income and poverty, criminal justice, but then also compare those to health records that had been made publicly available by the county public health so that we could look at neighborhood health. In other words, a whole bunch of bullshit to support the already fucking cunt fucking belief she already had about how everything is racist. Everything is somebody else's fault. Everything is because of somebody else, somewhere else, or why we're all living in the world we're living in. Everybody fucking destroying the world around them. And it's not their fault. It's not their fault that there's nothing around them. It's somebody else's fault. So therefore... Dr. Blackstock, uh, this study, it defines structural racism as the means by which societies perpetuate discrimination through interconnected systems, including housing, education, and unemployment. I'm going to run that back one more time. Dr. Blackstock, uh, this study, it defines structural racism as the means by which societies perpetuate discrimination through interconnected systems, including housing, education, and unemployment. That's a mouthful of garbage. That's a mouthful of buzzwords. Fucking so thought out by fucking commie clowns for the last 10 years that they've just perfected it. They fucking perfected the word salad of nothing. The right spin on every little buzzword that just evokes everything. Equity and structural and blah, 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 blah. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you clarify for our audience how the prevalence of certain factors like inadequate housing and schools and even the quality mm -hmm. of nearby medical facilities, they are all indicators of structural racism, which can then negatively affect these actual health outcomes. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. What the fuck are we going to do when, when like this is like the norm? This is the norm. This is what the Democrats will use and run on and broadcast from the fucking mountaintops. And then everybody else that already has this sucker shit in their head because the last 20 years we've been pounding it in every little kid's head of just inequalities and racism and this and that. Bro, it's just like it's so embedded in every fucking thing at this point that I just can't even begin to imagine how you unravel it. I can't even begin to imagine how we can like turn it around to where I just think of the world 50 fucking years ago with as bad as it was. And I imagine black folks then that just had respect for themselves, had respect for the community around them, the neighborhood around them. They didn't have the attitude of it's because of somebody else why we're at where we're at. They had the mentality of if this is ours, we're going to take care of it. We're going to fucking water the gardens to fucking grow this shit up to something beautiful. Not just so stuck on like, I can't win, can't win. Whole system's against me. The whole system's against me. Nothing, nothing is working for me while it all is. Got every opportunity in the fucking world. Can't begin to imagine the opportunities folks got in 2024 America. But yet this is what they choose to spend their fucking time on. Yeah, thank you so much, Charles, for having me. An honor to be on with Dr. Boulware. Um, Thank you for this study. It's so important to informing what policymakers need to do. There it is. So important with informing policymakers with what they need to do. What do they need to do? What, what, like, what do they need to do about this? I can't even begin to imagine what your fucking answer would be. To think how you think you're going to actually combat any of this fucking just theoretical in the atmosphere shit that somehow is fighting against all y'all. Fuck me, bro. We are fucked. I think so often we think about health as uh, individual choices that 
patients <clears throat> that patients make. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is. It is individual choices that patients fucking make in every way. God damn, you're the f <laughs> oh! That patients make. And instead, we really need to understand how practices and policies, you know, the legacy of slavery, the legacy of Jim Crow. How do you even begin to combat this when it's the mainstream at this point? When it's taken over all the universities, all the medical professionals and studies and hospitals to where this is just, this is, this is the common fucking thought process at this point. This is what they all believe. It's what they all think. They all just have this. It's, it's fucking retarded. Like it's so defeating in every way. And how somebody in these positions that are working at Wake Forest and working at whatever college and just, you know, this one chick right now, you know, she's, a, she's, the, she's the daughter of a doctor. So her mother was a doctor. She is now a doctor, but yet somehow would imagine that her life today might be harder than what her mother came from 30, 40 years ago. It fucking blows my mind, dude. Like, it just, it's so fucking everything anti-fucking progress. It's all of it. It is just as ugly as the KKK of the 60s and the 30s and all the other shit, bro. It's the same, it's the same rhetoric. It's the same fucking rhetoric. Current day systemic racism impacts the health of our communities. So when we have people who have housing insecurity, who live in uh, food deserts, who live in communities where there's not enough green space for them to walk around or to work out, where they're not able to find gainful employment, where they're not able to have quality education. We know that racism is a key driver of what we call the social determinants of health. No, it's not. It's you. It's you. It's all fucking you. It's what you do. It's what you don't do. It's what you hold a priority over other things. It's the life you live, it's the culture you wake up and breathe in and out every fucking day. You got this whole fucking give me the bag shorty fucking mentality of fuck you, I'm gonna get it however the fuck I want. You gonna get the world in which you fucking live. Food deserts. How you think it become a food desert? It's fucking racism, right? Of course it's fucking racism. Bro, like these motherfuckers, it's always racism. And God forbid, yo, you disagree with a second of it. You will, oh, well, oh, maybe you're obviously racist. You're obviously racist if you don't believe that the reason my life is so shit is because of racism. You can't even argue with it because they're so steeped in the ideology of victimhood, of just this sucker fucking existence. It's painful to imagine. I just couldn't imagine coming up as a kid, being told by everybody around me that the world is against you. You'll never be or have anything. And it's not your fault. I mean, there's nothing you could do about it. It's because of all the white people. It's because all the white folks are why your life is shit. Not your attitude, not, your, not the chip that you're carrying on your shoulder, bigger than anybody ever carried from lives far fucking worse than anything you could ever live. It ain't racism that's out there fucking working against you. It's the culture. Anybody who lives in that culture, you're going to get what the fuck you get. Ain't because of no fucking racism. Ain't because of no structural fucking racism. It's because of you. It's because of fucking you. And what we see in terms of health inequities and health disparities are the downstream outcomes of those. And so I think it's so important for us to connect the dots. The, the dots that need to be connected are that, you know, individuals are only responsible for about 20% of what makes them healthy. The other 80% are these systemic factors. Individuals are only responsible for 20% of what makes them healthy. I can't fucking do it. I can't do another fucking minute of these bitches. I can't fucking do another minute of this mentality that is so front and center to 2024 America, to 2024 politics, ideology, Democrat, whatever, leftism. It's so backwards. It's so antithetical to any fucking sense of trying to create a better person with a better outlook. The opportunities in a 2024 America are limitless. You fucking put your mind to it, put your drive and energy behind it, you can create it. It's a domino effect. Everybody around everybody needs to hold everybody responsible for their actions, for their attitude, for their entire thought process of how they're living their fucking lives. You gotta call out bad when you see it, not condone it or join in. 
bro, it's a mess. Like, I just, I heard this segment, and I'm just like, these motherfuckers at Duke, Wake Forest, and NC State made a study how structural racism is responsible for disparities in health. And these are doctors saying this shit. This is a study that was peer-reviewed and put out into the American Medical Fucking Journal. How the fuck can, like, bro, I'm an ex-con, barely fucking graduated high school, ain't do a fucking lick of fucking college. But yet I've got the sense to recognize that everything you're saying is backwards and defeating to everybody who believes it to anybody who hears it and listens to it would only help create people who are worth nothing. What do you expect from somebody who would believe that? What would you expect from somebody who has that thought process of, well, I mean, my responsibility is only 20% of my health. The other 80% is because of structural fucking racism. Bro, we get a chance every fucking 365 days to start anew, to start fresh, wipe the slate of last year's sucker shit in an attempt to make this following year, to make this next year that much better than the last. While you all put your time and energy into studies that only defeat the people who read and believe it, all you're doing is help destroy. I want nothing to do with it. I'll never have nothing to do with it. I'm going to speak against it till the day I fucking die. I hope every single one of your years is better this year than last. Because I know what my energy is going to. And that's to make the world around me a better place at all times. It's never anybody else's fault for the world in which I have found myself. It's on me. It's on me like it's on you. It's on all of us. Make something positive. Make it better. This study is making everything fucking worse.